Star Trek meets E Discovery. Spock, I have new orders from Starfleet. Now we have to review 1 million emails and attachments for production. It gets worse. I was given a deadline of only 10 days. And, get this. I was given a budget. On e-discovery. But Captain. The deadline is illogical. We only have 10 associates for this project. You know they can only review 100 documents apiece in one hour. And they can only work 10 hours per day. Federation regulations. That means they can only review 10,000 documents in a day. Therefore, the project to review 1 million documents will take 100 days. Not 10 days. It is illogical to give us a deadline of only 10 days. We may have to file a motion for more time. And you know how I cannot stand emotion. You may be right Spock, but we have our orders. Besides, I have an idea. Sulu. Take us to the nearest Ferengay planet. We have some vendor shopping to do. Spock. We are going to buy a robot from one of the nice Ferengay vendors. The robot will help us to do the review. Please. Captain. The crew are watching. Your dance is illogical. We have arrived at the Ferengay planet, Captain. Raise force fields. Red alert. Full power to the shields. Prepare to negotiate. With the discovery vendors. Captain. It is illogical to ask for help from a vendor. They are merchants. They are Ferengay. Can you trust them? Yes. I understand they are not like us. They have a different code of conduct. And so, I would like to fire lasers, tractor beams, torpedo cannons, anything. But we need their help. We will never finish the project on time without them. How can a Ferengay robot help us to meet our deadline? And stay in budget? They will want money, you know? Spock. You are behind in your reading of Vulcan science journals. I read an article by Professor Losi. He said that one robot trained in e-discovery can help a human reviewer make decisions on relevancy and privilege, hundreds of times faster. These new robots use predictive coding techniques that allow humans to search smarter and faster. That will save us money. Not only that, some of these furring gay vendors are extremely smart, and they can teach us how to use the new technology. With their help, we can meet our deadline and stay within budget. Then, Captain, your plan is very logical. But how can we protect ourselves from the vendors? How can we protect our clients from the Furingay Prime Directive to make money? I am surprised by your attitude, Spock. They are not all like that. Besides, we will negotiate with more than one vendor at a time, and then we will enter into binding agreements. These Furingay would rather die than breach a contract. Even though they are not Starfleet like us, they have their own kind of honor. They want you to do business with them again. That is how they make a profit. Now I understand, Captain. It is like what Lieutenant Chekhov always says. Trust. But verify. Yes, Spock. Besides, we need a good away mission. Have you seen some of these furring gay women? Once you get over their big ears, and how smart they are, you see that they are really hot. Big ears you say? Let's go buy a robot. <laughs>